The world of plastic surgery encompasses a wide range of procedures, from wound healing to cleft lip and palate. However, the public's perception of us sometimes focuses more on aesthetic surgery or cosmetic surgery, especially that of the breast and nose and face. And obviously we perform all of these procedures. So we're going to be highlighting some breast augmentation and reconstructive techniques and technology as well as rhinoplasty today. This month, we were exploring some articles that discuss some of these hot topics in plastic, reconstructive, and cosmetic surgery. Rhinoplasty, for example, is one of the most common elective procedures done in the world. And among the Asian population, it is the second most popular cosmetic procedure after blepharoplasty. This month, we took a closer look at what constitutes an Asian rhinoplasty. In our first study, which comes from our companion journal, PRS Global Open, we discussed the many facets of Asian rhinoplasty as it is practiced today, including how to improve appearance while maintaining your ethnic features and variations, and also what it takes to have a successful rhinoplasty. These astute authors conclude that ethnic variations, cultural differences, and the occasional language barriers make the preoperative counseling session even more important to align the person's expectations with the limitations of what can and cannot be done in each procedure. In another topic in PRS, we look at a systematic view of individualizing Asian rhinoplasty. This group of authors looks at 110 patients and trying to find a link between specific techniques needed for the subtleties of refinement for how to do an Asian rhinoplasty and how to make the patient happy. The authors determined that an individualized approach allows for far more predictable and optimized results in this challenging procedure called rhinoplasty. The most popular cosmetic procedure in the United States is breast augmentation. And of course, we have seen an overall increase from last year. Today, we'll discuss two key articles on cosmetic surgery of the breast. First, how do breast reshaping techniques or lifts directly affect a patient's bra cup size? This is a very important question. It is one of the most common concerns for breast lift patients. So how do they maintain their preoperative breast size but look fuller and better? This study confirms that on the average, the procedure decreases a patient's bra size by at least a full cup but it enhances their shape and contour. Few studies have identified the causes of this decrease. For now, we can share this information so patients and plastic surgeons can be fully informed. In this next very important article, which was specifically focused on breast cancer reconstruction after patients have had breast implant or breast augmentation surgery, the authors looked at a group of women who had undergone previous breast augmentation, had developed breast cancer, and then had immediate implant-based breast reconstruction. The authors showed that not only was this a safe procedure to perform, but it also was predictable in nipple preservation and in providing aesthetically great results uniformly. These two popular procedures are constantly being studied and refined to improve not only patient safety and outcomes, but also to optimize the plastic surgeon's experience and expertise